Hi everyone, this is a demo of Amazon Transcribe, a script um, built for, for using Amazon Transcribe with Laravel framework, a PHP Laravel framework, and I'll be showing you a demo on how to use um, this particular script. It can be installed on any hosting, shared hosting, private hosting, or in local hosting. Uh, the only requirement is support for the proper PHP and MySQL versions. You can refer to documentation um, for the correct versions. Uh, since script will be updated constantly, uh, the versions of the proper PHP and then database part could change. Um, now, Amazon Transcribe is a speech-to-text service. You can learn more about by visiting Amazon Transcribe page in terms of what kind of use cases could be there, the pricing, etc. Uh, now, this, as I said, script is fully powered with using Amazon Transcribe's APIs. Uh, it supports six different audio format, formats, MP3, MP4, WAV, FLAC, OGG, and WebM. Um, and you can convert up to, um, if I believe correctly, four hours of uh, audio to text. Um, now, the um, AWS is constantly increasing the uh, the limits. So in the future, you could basic, basically convert more text, um, more more um, the lengthy audio to text. Um, so let's let's log in and see the details. So by the way, demo is fully available uh, at uh, Amazon Transcribe that bear kind that space. You can also download the entire source code from Code Canyon. It's available there. Both um, the links for the demo and the source code are in the description. Uh, so I suggest you to visit and have a look. Uh, you can also use the default admin credentials. Uh, you can log in with your credentials, um, register, and then uh, try it out by yourself. Now the admin credential uh, privileges here are, is limited in terms of the demo part, um, which basically implies that uh, you can still synthesize text um, audio to speech, um, but um, some of the features are blocked for demo reasons. So upon login, if you log in as an admin, first thing you'll see admin admin dashboard, which gives you a nice interface in terms of how many users are there, um, how many tasks were um, created in terms of speech-to-text conversion, uh, the estimated spending, and so forth. Um, so this is a pretty today is first of October, so pretty much it's a brand new month. Um, so I don't expect a lot of usage here, uh, even though the demo is available from Code Canyon. So let's check out the uh, previous transcript results uh, that were run by the, a lot of people, and as you can see here, they've been using uh, for testing purposes. Now Amazon Transcribe supports um, two type of um, speech to text option. One is converting uh, pre-recorded files uh, to text. Second is a live uh, text-to-speech. Um, this is not a unique feature for Amazon. It's also supported by GCP and uh, Microsoft. Um, but those um, demo for those um, solutions will be released later. Um, so, for example, if you go to the live transcribe, it is uh, here for the demo reasons. It's limited to 24 seconds. Uh, it supports, I think, 11 languages, if I remember correctly. Um, and you can use any of those here. So let's just check it out. Hi, how are you? Yeah, we are recording a text. Um, not, not a text. Well, you get the idea. Uh, so again, this can be uh, upon stopping. It will be immediately um, saved for you. Um, you can view the results, you can edit the results if you as you want, uh, I don't know, uh, to test for example, and save it, and basically with this, uh, you, you'll get, after refreshing the table, you'll get uh, whatever you saved. Um, so this is for taking live notes, for example, for, I don't know, if you're um, creating some kind of uh, then whatever whatever your your your, your need would be. Um, let's and also like we created two options for you in terms of uploading pre -exist, pre existing files uh, audio files in the proper format uh, that the ones we mentioned, and then um, tra creating a transcribe tasks task. Now here it supports more languages uh, compared to the uh, live transcribe. Uh, you can check out the entire list here. Again, the list is. Uh, constantly growing by AWS, so um, they're basically on a yearly basis adding support for new languages, uh, so stay tuned for new ones. Uh, we also add the speaker identification feature. You can add enable speaker identification up to five people, and with this um, you'll get um, 
basically split in terms of who said what as a speaker one, speaker two, etc. Uh, also, we created a custom uh, record and transcribe, so you can record your audio um, and then uh, the pass the tasks um, to the uh, transcribe, and you will get the results as a text. Uh, which is again in case if you don't if you want to if you don't want to use live transcribe and just want to record something um, or you already have uh, well if you have files you can upload it but if you want to record it live and then process it that will be one option in terms of the results so let's have a look on the past ones on the back end all the tasks are passed to um, AWS for processing and then all the results are pulled with a cron task so there's a cron job behind the scene which is running on a, a one minute or five minute interval depending which one you set obviously the shorter the better uh, most of the hostings support five minute intervals but there are a lot of hostings also who allow you to create uh, one minute cron inter in, um, uh, intervals uh, for cron tasks so I highly suggest you to use one minute intervals in, in intervals in terms of five minutes um, now obviously that depends on your hosting company if you're running it lo in the local host obviously you can just put one minute in your uh, linux environment or windows environment whatever um, that will have it fixed uh, so we'll just click on the first one um, oh wow look at look at the text uh, so it was recorded by someone let's hear it by a 90-year-old man. Life isn't fair, but it is still good. When in doubt, just take the next small step. Oh, nice. I, I didn't expect, uh, to be frank, this um, someone recorded this kind of audio with um, a pretty decent message. Um, so yeah, the, the what you see here is basically when you view the results, you're gonna see this audio track in terms of you can listen, start listening from any point as you want. It is still, um, and then um, the the results actually here. So the uh, in terms of the time image, time image when it was from, when the text appeared in that during this time frame. So these are in seconds, including milliseconds, and then. Um, split between the speaker obviously I think they selected the speaker identification but um, uh, in this case just one voice uh, you can download the result the result is going to be a txt file uh, if it's a speaker identification you it will be uh, split between the speaker numbers so if there were more speakers it will be speaker two etc up to five if it was uh, there were no speaker identification task set then you would just see one plain text basically here um, so you get the idea you can try it out the demo by yourself including your audio uh, there's only limitation in terms of demo file sizes and audio length um, so i think we said uh, audio length to be max 30 seconds or 24 seconds um, so just keep in mind uh, and again upon getting the source code and installing it uh, you can um, increase the limit up to whatever you prefer um, up to for maximum supported by AWS and we'll get there in terms of in, in a second in terms of the max um, supported settings um, so these are results for live transcribe so as you can see one uh, our ones would be on top since it's the most recent and you'll see here a lot of tasks being generated by people around the world uh, your profile will basically show some in interesting information in terms of how you've been using your uh, text speech to text environment um, so as you can see in July there were a lot of usage for um, live transcribe and again these are in minutes like all what you see here um, of total tasks etc you can also create a support request um, if you have some questions to the admin um, and then admin can share with you some kind of general notifications so whatever it could be so let's get into the admin panel um, again admin panel is seen only by um, the admin team obviously um, here you can see generic information in terms of how many live transcribed tasks were there, the upload and transcribe, record and transcribe, and the total work generated. So this is just um, for you, uh, for your awareness. Admin gets to see old transcribed results um, in terms of the that users were create uh, generated, and it's split between who is who, like the user one, admin one. Um, you can also enable and disable 
languages. So, for example, if you don't want to provide support for Arabic or Danish, whatever, uh, just click here and click disable. Now, this is for demo reasons, is they will not allow you, uh, but you get the idea. So, the important part in terms of the config configuration for the speech to text, what would be um, SAT configuration, speech to text configuration under SAT management. Um, here it's some important things. So you can control the maximum audio length um, for admin and for user groups. You can set it whatever you prefer. Uh, also the file sizes in terms of the uploaded file, how, how big it could be. Now keep in mind there is a limit in terms of the file size. And AWS does not support audio file sizes more than 2 gigabytes. So that's a hard limit. Uh, that you need to be aware. In terms of the audio length, um, so yeah, I was I was not correct. The length is up to six hours instead of four. Um, so that's also important to note. It's a hard limit set by AWS. In the future, it could be increased because uh, AWS is constantly increasing um, their limits in terms of various services. So that's uh, keep in mind uh, something to keep in mind. The speaker identification is. Um, can be enabled and disabled and also that would be up to you uh, if you don't want to offer this feature to your users uh, you can just go ahead and disable it you can also set default language for your live transcribe or recorded transcribe option whichever you prefer here in terms of the AWS settings all you have to include is your uh, uh, AMI access keys and then um, IEM access keys and then the bucket uh, S3 bucket name so the bucket where the, all the files will be uploaded and that's how the it will get um, transcribed to text. In terms of user panel, well, by the way, in terms of setting up the AWS configuration, we have online documentation, so you can check it out. It has pretty good step-by-step -step guide in terms of how to configure your AWS environment in your S3 bucket and what kind of policies you will need to add to your IAM user. Um, so that's in terms of the split of where your users are registered from. Um, and also how to add uh, minutes to your user. Now again, this is not a SaaS script. Uh, there is a SaaS version called Cloud Transcribed in our portfolio in Code Canyon. Check it out. And that will allow you to actually earn money by offering a speech-to-text um, service uh, to your potential customers. But in this case, uh, for this particular uh, script, uh, you can add um, minutes manually. So you can add manu manually at individual basis. Or you can also set at the configuration the welcome minutes for new users. So whenever someone gen logs in, you can give, I don't know, five hours of um, time or whatever you prefer. Now I'm not going to save this because it will not allow me due to the limitation of the demo. And that's pretty much it. Then you have general settings in terms of changing the, the logos, the general global information about the website, the naming, uh, the URL, etc. Um, you can also customize a bit front-end settings, create blocks, FAQs, um, and also you can, in the out settings, allow logging in with social media, uh, user social media accounts, and also you can create an email verification system. Uh, so first you have to configure the SMTP settings, and after the successful configuration of SMTP settings, you can enable user email verification, which means only legit and verified emails um, can be used to register into your script. Uh, you can take the database backup, activation, upgrade so or upgrade software with future updates. Because um, we will be will be releasing a frequent um, automated updates um, that you can use in terms of the uh, enable a new feature. Um, so that's pretty much it. These are new notification terms of who registered and when. So I highly suggest you to. Uh, check out the demo. So it was recently updated uh, with the version 2.0. It was complete change comparing to what we had before. It's uh, fully written on the Laravel uh, 8 framework. Um, and if you have any questions, leave us a comment under YouTube video or in our profile in Code Canyon. I will be happy to answer. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and click like button. I will be releasing more uh, videos about our demo products and about uh, general tutorial videos about uh, cloud solutions in general from AWS, GCP, and, and Azure. And also we'll, we'll touch the IBM as well. So I hope you liked it. Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks.